Hello, LLJ Connect. It's Allison Stuckey, and I'm here with one of our special contributors, Don Kress, who's an international mentor and energy healer. Hi, Don. Hi there. <laughs> We're talking about energy today. We are talking about energy today. <laughs> so I guess the question I have for you is, because you're the expert, if somebody hasn't experienced energy and doesn't understand energy healing or has never tried it, what are sort of the basics that they need to know? How do they, how do they relate to the energy that can help their body heal? Okay. Well, the first thing you need to know is that everything in our physical world is actually made up of energy. So if you were to take a very high powered microscope and put it on physical matter, what you would find is that on a subatomic particle level, it's all just waves of energy. So when you, you know, first think of energy healing and, you know, oh, someone's sending energy through themselves to heal my body, that seems weird. It's actually not that weird when you think of we're all made up of energy and that's really all there is. That's awesome. So how do you manipulate the energy? You say you use the energy into the body to heal. So how does that work well, for somebody who's never experienced it? When you think of your body being all energy, and there's all kinds of, what we know is that there's nine energy systems right now flowing through your body all the time. So for example, in acupuncture, that's one um, study of energy where there's meridian lines sort of like little highways bringing vitality into your different organ systems most people think when you put a needle in it just stimulates the nerves or something it's actually rerouting energy to flow in a healthy pattern so that the body can be well so if the body has a disrupted energy pattern it'll eventually start getting sick so if you think of the body being your densest form of energy where you can touch it and feel it with your physical senses, um, but at the core, it's still energy. And then you have your mental and emotional bodies of energy where a thought, you know, are, um, is energy or an emotion. They can now measure emotions using radio frequencies. So that's really interesting. We know that if I get really upset, that I can um, be so upset that you might say, wow, I feel that. Or, oh, I walked in this room, you could cut the tension with a knife. That's us feeling emotional energy. And all of these energies affect our physical form and affect, you know, if we're happy or sad or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. So how can somebody, can somebody do this on their own or do they need an energy healer like you? No, everyone can learn how to do this on their own and we all do it all the time. We are always moving energy because if you think your thoughts are kind of like the little directors of where the energy is going, you know, it could be as simple as I'm having a thought, I want to turn on the oven. And then I go and do it. That precedes matter, right? We're, we're creating an energy before we actually have an action. Or I could say, um, you know, I want to start a new business. But then there's an energy there of fear that, that blocks me from being able to move forward. So I would come along and say, Alison, there's a block here. We need to clear the, the fear so that we can get going on this business. Amazing. So in everyday lives, just to pare it down, how can people bring that in and start feeling that healing? If they're not feeling well, or as you said, which people might not be aware of, the thought patterns, how can they sort of become aware and start bringing that in to heal themselves? Yeah, good question. You really want to practice awareness you know when you're thinking those thoughts of like wow i'm not good enough that is like a little energetic hit on your energy system or your body right and it's not going to make you feel very good so if you can consciously just and at the beginning you're just going to have to trust that this is real that there is a very high vibration of energy in our universe 
uh, the highest vibration of energy would be love and light. That would be, you know, when I say vibration, it's going very quickly and it's very harmonizing. So it's going to harmonize disruptions. So if you consciously say, okay, you know, Dawn says there's this energy in the universe. It's very harmonizing, very loving, very gentle, full of light. I'm just going to bring this into my body. And one way of doing that that lots of people are familiar with is just gratitude. So as you walk around, just have gratitude. Wow, what a beautiful sunny day. Wow, I can walk. This is amazing, right? Um, as you do that, you're seeding positive energy into your environment where think of it almost like a currency or a bank account. I'm, I'm investing this positive energy so that I can reap a return. I love that. Is there, for somebody who hasn't experienced this, sort of a, a cue or a, something they can do so that this is, this is something they become more aware of and can bring in quickly or can bring in more quickly or can bring in more readily? Because if, if somebody hasn't heard about this, it's going to be completely foreign to them. Yeah. Well, you'll see on LLJ Connect, that there's going to be lots of different resources for people. There'll be a light visualization that they can try. There's going to be some other uh, things I suggest to give a try and then just watch what happens. So as long as they stay tuned, they're gonna get more and more tools and resources to learn this stuff. Amazing. What's your, what's your one piece of wisdom related to energy healing? My favorite is that energy never lies. So when you see something going on in your life and you're thinking, oh, why is this happening? What was the energy that came before the manifestation of that event? And we can really learn to empower ourselves by seeding positive energy first so that we're reaping better things. I love it. I can't wait to hear more from you. Thank you for we'll having me. We'll see you at LLJ Connect. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.